Making basic effects in Spine is super easy. All you have to do is grab an image, parent it to a bone called effects, duplicate the effects bone three times, animate the bones to scale up over time, then loop back within one frame. Here, I'm starting from a scale of 0.5 at frame 0 to 1.5 at frame 39, then back to 0.5 at frame 40. Key the opacity so the slots gradually fade in and out over time in a loop. Using the Offset tool, highlight all the keys and offset the bones an equal distance from each other. Using four bones means that each bone should be offset by 25% of the animation, which in this example is 10 frames each. Now, each bone will begin its animation loop at a different time and the overlapping creates a neat fire effect. And really, that's all it takes to make some simple effects. But we can push this further to make it more interesting. Let's try flipping two of the attachments in setup mode. Or maybe adjust the scale and rotation of the attachments. What if we change the attachment colors for a rainbow fire? We can use two bones. We can use eight bones. We can adjust the timing to make it slower or faster. Adjust the scaling to scale more over time or less over time. Scale it in just the Y axis or just the X axis. And we can replace our fire image with some stars, smoke, water, clouds, anything else you want. We can mix and match any of these changes on top of each other to come up with some really cool things. So mess around and make something unique. In some cases, you might need your setup pose to match your first and last frame of your animations, which you can check by toggling your animation on and off in animation mode. When we use offsetting to create our effects, the first frame changes its scale and opacity values, which means it no longer matches the setup pose. But we can fix this. These new first frames are the values we want for setup mode. Record these values and enter them into the corresponding bones in setup mode. You'll notice this will change our animation and we end up with the same problem as before, where the first frame and setup mode don't match. This means that we just need to reanimate the bones. Using the same method and values as before, reanimate your bones and then offset them. Now the beginning and ending of your animation should match perfectly to the setup mode. Now go forth and animate effects to your heart's content, little animator. And now that you know how it's done, have fun noticing this technique used everywhere.